Hey guys, welcome to today's tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to work with Android bottom navigation. We are going to create bottom navigation and fragments. Then we'll be able to switch between fragments on clicking bottom navigation tabs. So let's get started. Start a new Android Studio project. Select bottom navigation activity. Next. Let me call it bottom nav. Finish. So once the project has successfully started, you will realize we have three tabs by default at the bottom navigation. So if you want to change this one, just go to menu, navigations. Then you can change. For instance, we have home, dashboard, and notifications. So we're going to work with these ones, but later we can change them. So let's create our fragments. I'll start with Rails. So we have home fragment. Dashboard fragment. And notification. Flagment. So inside this, we are going to have, let me use relative layout, then have text view. Text, you can say home flagment, you know, this dashboard. Center, horizontal, true, vertical, center, vertical, true. Let me increase the size. 16. I'll also copy and paste the same to home. Plugment, so this is letter to layout. This is home fragment, then notification the same. Relative layout, then we can have notification fragment. So let me create fragments. Home fragment. It's a class, but I will extend fragment, then override some methods on the touch. That's when fragment get attached. On create, and then on create view when the view is created. We're going to inflect our view here. View, view, inflate dot inflate r dot layout dot. We're going to inflate our home fragment here. Then container, and we have no attached force. Then let's return view. We can override another method. On destroy. So I'm also going to generate a constructor. Let's create another fragment for dashboard.
I'll copy this and paste it here. But now this will be dashboard extends plugment. We are going to override and destroy. Then we are going to inflate dashboard flagment. The same. We are going to create for notification. Flagment. I'll paste. Let me copy from this one to save time. Extends fragment. Then we're going to inflate our notification fragment. Override on destroy. So I'm going to attach them to our main activity. So our main activity has the bottom navigation and then it has a text view. So instead of this text view, we're going to have frame left much parent, much parent. Then let's constrain it. ID frame layout so much parent top of navigation okay so we can remove this one we can also remove this one let's create a method that will load our fragments so public void so load fragment I'm going to pass fragment, fragment. Inside we have fragment manager. Get support fragment manager. Then we have fragment transaction fragment manager dot begin transaction you only have transaction dot replace we're going to replace our flame dot id dot flame layout with our fragment and then dot back null also we are going to have custom animation android dot add dot animate dot fading Can fade out, fade in again, and out. Then load commit. So anytime when you click home, we're going to load fragment. We're going to new home fragment. 
the same implies to dashboard it is dashboard fragment and the same will imply to notification it is notification fragment all right let's learn our application seems okay commit I'm going to learn all right it has not installed yet Installing now. Let's see when you click dashboard notification. Okay, let me see what is happening. We have a text there. Have a text and you have a text dashboard operator supposed to show that home supposed to show that and then a road fragment yeah with our fragment okay set custom mode and by default we can load new Home fragment. Let's see our main. All right. So we're going to match parent, and as we're going to match parent. Okay. Let's learn our application. Yeah, so we have our home fragment and click dash when you click dashboard, dashboard fragment, and then notification fragments. That's all. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe for more tutorials. If you have a question, please comment below and I will answer you.